Howdy folks and welcome back. I uh, just finished up a video on the reloading die lock rings. So if you'd like to uh, check that out, uh, please do. But I got to thinking some folks might not know the difference between a three die set of reloading dies and a four die. Why is there a three? Why is there a four? What's the difference? Etc. So I thought I'd throw together a quick little video and we'll do that now. Give me a second and I will put the camera on my hat and hopefully it won't shake around too bad but I think that'll help you see things better. Okay, I'm back hopefully in front of me you can see and the two types I have here is uh, a three die RCBS set. These are cowboy dies. When I was just getting into reloading, somebody recommended these to me. They're carbide, which means you don't need to uh, lube your cases every time. A lot of people do anyway, but anyway, uh, make up your own mind on that. So uh, they recommended the cowboy dies. I figured what the heck, they have worked very well for me. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, they do have the 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 lock rings on them those work well I set them up I locked them in on a single stage press they've worked well now I'll come back and explain each one to you here in a second but first I'll show you this set of this four die set of lead eyes now obviously you know they're not all cool looking like the cowboy dies but I mean they're for 45 ACP that's you know not real cowboy but and I already put the Hornady lock rings on there as you can see and that's a four die set well Grizz you know one's four one's three well what in the world is the difference and why do I care well that's a good question let's just go through the basic operations on your three die set this is the first die and as you can see it has uh, that little pin sticking out, that is a decapping pin. So that when you run a case through this die, it'll knock out the old primer and it will do a full length sizing on that case. Just press that brass back into specs in case it bulged a little bit in the chamber as it was being fired. So that's, that's the decap resize. On the RCBS, uh, which one is which? I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Grizz, way to prepare. The second die on three die set is the flaring die. And what that does, it has a little plug in there that's run down. So when you press the brass up into there it flares that case mouth just a little bit so it's easier to seat the bullet so I don't know if this piece has been flared or not but it just pushes down in there and pushes that out kinda of like a trumpet bell only you don't want it that much it just makes it easier so when you get to it it's easier to set that bullet down on there and it'll kind of stay put until it goes into the next die. What is the next die, Grizz? Well, we're coming to that. On the three die set, the last of the three dies will seat the bullet, which seating the bullet, it is just set in there. Seating will seat it to a proper depth. depth. So it'll push it down inside that case mouth as far as you have it set to. Uh, the bullets I use have a nice little crimp groove, so I push it down right up to that, that crimp groove. So that's, it, it seats it, and then another part of that die then crimps it. And on uh, th this type set of dies, it's a roll crimp, so it 
kind of rolls that brass into that uh, crimp groove or into the lead if you're not on a crimp groove. And that holds the bullets tight in the case, which will give you more uniform uh, expansion when that powder gets set off. Because as that powder gets set off, it's the gases expanding rapidly that propel that bullet down the barrel. At least that's my understanding. Anyway, so that's the three die set. Okay, well, how is the four die set different? And these are probably not in order. Well, we'll just take them out. Yeah, the basics are the same. You have your decap resize, and that's the same as the three die set. You have your your belling die which is primarily the same but this one is a powder through die so if you wanted to go ahead and drop powder right after you bell that case this die is set up to just drop it through the die now the last two is where the big difference is between the three die and the four die on the four die set the first one seats the bullet which remember it uh, pushes the bullet down inside the case to the depth it needs to be so it pushes 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 until it's down there and then the fourth die actually does the crimp and this can be handy for a number of reasons of getting both the seat and the crimp dialed in can be a little bit problematic if it's separate operations it's a little bit easier but I mean hey I'm I'm not the brightest bulb in the pack and I, I figured it out on the three die uh, basically when I didn't know anything so I, I mean you can do it but it just gives you a bit more control on the seating and a bit more uh, control on the crimping. So that is the basic difference between a three die reloading set and a four die reloading set. And if uh, that answered some questions, good. If not, well, it only took you a couple of minutes to see it. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your time. I'll see you down the trail. Until then, watch Top Knot.